Hello procrastinators and welcome to Gunpoint. This is a 2D uh, hack and stealth them up uh, that came out today on Steam. It has just come out and it is just... Oh, it's so good. It is so, so good. I love this game. Um, you can draw this little spy dude down the bottom left here. You can see him running around in his lovely little trench coat. Uh, he can run and he also has hyper trousers that let him leap massive bounds like this. Whee! Boop. Uh, so you can lob yourself at walls and then climb up and down the walls. You can go around like that and then climb along ceilings. So basically you can hide wherever the hell you want because you're a spy and then you can use your hyper trousers and leap off there. So if you wanted to kind of climb up fantastically high and then lob yourself off of a roof with your hyper trousers, that is completely reasonable. He'll come down at some point. There he is. <laughs> Oh, he just hit the floor. Um, these are guards. They're evil and murderous. These are security cameras, doors. There's just a bunch of stuff I'll show you later. Uh, this is our goal. This little thing down the bottom right here. This is what we need to go and hack. If we hack this open, we can then escape through this little bit here and all will be well. The real superb feature about this game is the crosslink. If you scroll wheel up, you will enter this mode. This is showing you how all the circuits are connected in this world. So you can see this light switch controls this light. These hand scanners control this door. Uh, this security camera here controls this alarm. And that's these security cameras aren't wired up to anything. That was that was that's just the thing. They're just there. They're there for show. Okay. So you can see where everything is connected to, and you can change where everything is connected to. So instead of if you don't want that switch to activate that light, you can click and drag from that switch, click to that door, and flicking that switch will open that door. That is interesting. You get to do a lot of stuff with this. If you click this and connect it to this guy's gun, that switch will fire this guy's gun. This game is superb. Uh, as you can see, there are some circuits that are blacked out. That one is highlighted green, this one is highlighted yellow. You have to go to these points here, that I'm asking over here, this thing over here. Uh, you can see what's lying up there. These are different coloured circuits for different things. So if you go to the green one, you have the green things here. If you go to this yellow one, you activate the yellow stuff. And if you activate this purple one, you activate the purple stuff. So you have to go up to these and tap W, and then you'll be able to control these circuits. You can't cross them, so you can't have a green thing connect to a red thing. But you can then connect all the green things, and you'll be able to puzzle solve. Because it's sort of a puzzle game, as well as all the 90 other things that it is. And I love it to bits. Uh, you can only take one hit before you get murderized, so be careful what you do. Try and plan ahead. So if I wanted to tackle this guy off of this, sailing through the glass, that's fine. But I've been shot by this guy up here, who shot me through the glass as I was falling. The auto saves save every few seconds, so you can load up a save before you did something stupid. So I'm back down here. So you don't have to start the levels again or do anything there. You have like 15 seconds of stuff, so you can go before you cocked up. So if we do that again, boop, and smash. I got shot again. It's always this guy. I can say load four seconds ago when I was climbing up here. So you don't go right the way back to the beginning. The saves happen every five seconds or so. So you don't have to click up. So you know that's a bad move. You don't do that. You just reload and do something else. Let's lob ourselves off of here. Wee! Splat. Right. So let's try and do some puzzle solving, shall we? Uh, these are batteries. They let you do special abilities. You have some special abilities. Uh, the special ability that I have at the moment uh, is Hushcracker. It means if I click in midair, I can break through glass silently. Otherwise, I just sound like this. And everyone knows where I am, and then everyone shoots me. Oh crap, there's the guy that's shooting me. The other ability is that you can wire up guns to things. So you can wire up this switch to that gun. You can even wire up this to that gun, uh, which is the call elevator button. So when the elevator lands here, then his gun will go off. So if you want to time things, you can use elevators to time it. You can do that with the switch. You can have this security camera activate the elevator. You can um, just do just whatever the hell you seriously want. If there's two people, two guards facing each other and you fire a gun, it's going to shoot the other guard. That's just, uh, this game has so much fun. In fact, I would demo demonstrate something like that to you. Uh, we need to get across this bridge here. This thing here has no way in. There's glass up here, but you can't smash that glass. You don't have enough momentum from the ground to smash that glass. So we need to get through this door here, which is on the green circuit. So we need to go and activate this so we can open this door. This is on the yellow circuit, so we need to go to get the yellow one down here. Or we can kind of leap through, skip the yellow one, but we'd have to take out these three guards that are guarding this glass bit. Otherwise, we'll get shot. If we run through there, these guards will see us and shoot us. So we need to take out these three guards. Uh, and leap through or take out these three guards and do it properly. It's entirely up to you. Right, let's go up this elevator over here. The problem I'm about to show you off here is as soon as we get this elevator up here, it makes a bing sound and this guard is now looking. He can't see us because we're hiding in the elevator. But if we get out now, he's going to shoot us in the face. 
which is a problem I don't quite wish to be shot in the face today. So we need to get this guard uh, to be looking in a different direction. Uh, now this guard is looking at us as well because this one is being... In fact, they're all looking this way. Oh god. Now what would be really useful is if we could turn this light switch off because in the dark they can't see you. That's on the yellow one, so to get to the yellow one we need to get down to this yellow switch here. There are two guards controlling it. Uh, you see, they've got this door here which they can see us and shoot us through. So a cunning tactic would be to wire this up to this door here close that so now they can't see us so we can go down here leap through this window and uh go and get this sort of thing ready Whee! ow my face and click it so now we can control the yellow things which gives us a lot more options uh, as we go there's a, we also could have turned off the lights down here as an alternate way of doing this we could have gone up here turn these lights off down here and then beaten everybody to death who's in there oh he turned the lights back on they will attempt to turn the lights back on if you turn them off so if you turn the lights off like that that guy will then try and turn the lights back on. However, if I was to wire up to something like that electrical thing, he's going to electrocute his friend. <laughs> okay, let's go down here. Oh, hide in the elevator, hide in the elevator, hide in the elevator. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pounce on this guy with my hyper trousers. Here we go. Ready? Grab him! Now we've grabbed him. If we click, we start punching him in the face. A few punches is unconscious. Keep kind of clicking. And uh, you eventually turn his face into sludge. Which is seriously fun, so keep doing it. Okay, now we can control the yellow, we can rewire up this security camera onto this light if we don't want to use the switch. That's activated that, and I've been shot because there's two guards here who when you walk into this and don't have the yellow, they will shoot you, which is stopping you get through this bit. Okay, totally forgot about that. Let's load and try that again. If we deactivate that, so now if we step in the security camera it won't activate that, we can then switch that to that light, turn that off. In fact, we can wire that up to that little uh, electricity panel there, so if we go into the security camera, lights go off, he will flick that switch, electrocute his mate, and now he's wandering around. So we can go up here and activate the green stuff. We can even take that guy out if we so wish. And I do so wish to. Because <laughs> I'm an evil bastard and I like doing that sort of thing to people. Uh, that's got an alarm there. You can actually de deactivate stuff if you want, or you can activate these. You can't actually activate these hand panels yourself, only guards can use those. Uh, so if we activate, say this uh, elevator call button onto here and then go down a floor and then come back up a floor when the elevator comes up here and bings that door will open for us and then we can smack this guard in the face well, i'm gonna take him out because this is cool i don't recommend it because i've now been shot okay let's do this again but a little bit more stealthy punch him in here nice okay so our next dilemma is we need to take out this guard this guard can see all guards can see where your mouse goes red so if your mouse is red you're gonna get killed by all of them so this guard is looking in this direction so we're fine here everything's fine here but you're gonna die if you come out in this bit, which I love. So you're never like, oh, can the guy see me? If you're red, he's gonna see you. Apart from if you're hiding in an elevator like I am now. Uh, as you can see from this, there's a light switch to turn this light off, which means we could hide. Unfortunately, if we tried to run for it, this guy shoots us in the back of the head and we get flung out of a window. Probably not the best idea for taking him out. Uh, what other strategies could we have? Well, we could attack him through this bit of glass here, which you can do. It, there's not enough time to smash this glass room to turn around and shoot us, but we'd have to smash if we're going from this side through this glass, which he would actually then hear, so we can't go that way. And if we were trying to go over the top, this guard will see us as we climb over here, so this guard is now guarding this way. If this guard was facing this way, and we took him off, he'd fall down here, smash through here, this guard would see us and shoot us. So this is the only way, this is the only way we can come from. And happily, there is a green activation point here. So this is when the elevator gets called, so if we just go down and then go back up, as soon as that activates, that'll turn this light off, and it'll go bing, and now we can jump up here, and climb above his head, and pounce on him, punchy 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 punch. Alright, now that guy's been turned into paste, we need to get through this door here, which is why we're activating the green circuit in the first place. Uh, this is the only entrance into that building, so we can simply wire up this over to there like that open that up and now we can either try and work out this bit or we can just sort of leap in there Whee! ow crap we're in and we've instantly been shot by this guy up here because he heard the glass smashing so we can't go in that way okay so we've opened up this green door just by using that switch now we need to activate this door so if we use the little yellow switch here give it a click that door will open and then we can start making our way back unfortunately that is a timed door so we only have this many seconds to get through it so we can get up here stand in the elevator start going up and it's closed before we get there uh we can wire up instead to this security camera up here wire up this to this door here so we actually have a way of opening it uh open up this door and then run and we might just make it let's have a gander run through here go 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 in nice looks to be that door right now we're in the final area. We need to get down to here. 
this is our final goal. This guy here is walking through this sort of gate thing. This is a motion detector. It is on a blue circuit. You can see that's got a little blue highlight. There isn't actually a blue activation point on this map. So we can't alternate this circuit. Like this bit over here was also on a blue circuit, so we couldn't actually ever lock these guys away. So there are some things that you can't change. Uh, the reason this guy is opening this door is every time he walks through this, this is opening. And so he's can kill us in this second here when he's facing this way. So we have to time our run fast. Uh, there's also a switch here on the purple circuit, so we need to activate this purple circuit to get access of everything. How are we going to get in that purple circuit? Uh, we need to get through this door that is locked by the purple circuit, so we need someone else to open this door for us. That is this guy here. Uh, this is alarmed up to this, so if we step through here and then get out of the way, he'll open that for us. We can take him out if we were accurate, otherwise we'll just get shot in the face like I just did. You make me look bad on my videos! Ah! After you've gently taken care of the enemy, click the wire jack thing, so that means we can now control the purple circuits. So we need to get through this little door here, if we wire this up to here and step through that, that's going to open that door for us, so we can get to our goal! Now we need to get down here at the perfect time, so that's open, he can kill us, go down now, go quickly, go quickly, go quickly, go quickly, there, we got down safely, go through here, hack the thing! And we're done! Right, we now need to get to the exit! To get the exit we need to time it right to go back up here, I've timed that slightly wrong, we're in, we're fine, we're safe. So, how are we going to get up here? If we go up here like this, uh, this guard is instantly going to shoot us in the face. Not something we want. So if we go back in this direction, this guard up here, we didn't take out. So he's going to shoot us in the face. <laughs> so, uh, oh, this guard's about to shoot me in the face because I didn't time that properly. Yay! Right, so can we wire up this to turn these lights off? Yes, we can, but these are black suited dudes. They can see in the dark. Not giving us a huge advantage there. Okay, so what can we possibly do? Well, if we use our hyper trousers to get a bit of speed up, we might be able to get past that guard before anything happens. We can go, whoa, like that. And then we are past, and he hasn't done anything. And then we can launch ourselves through here. He's now patrolling because he's seen us. So we can go up here and take him the frack out. A woo woo! Wee! Right, a nice simple way of getting rid of these guys is to stick a switch on him, fire his gun at his friend, and while he's panicking and crying and being a little girl about it, we can go up here and let's kick him out for victory! For anything! For the end of time itself! Ah! Victory. Right, now I've done the level once, I'm going to do the level again, but this time I'm going to sort of uh, do it in one go so you can see how the game actually plays, how you would play a level of this game, uh, instead of just jump cuts and crap so you can actually see what the game is like. Now let's just, uh, let's just buzz these guys, let's just take them out, in fact let's turn the switch off as well, just to paranoid, make them paranoid, just to freak them out seriously, and then we will, uh, that guy will zap his, try and zap his friend and completely fail, but I'll be successful, his friend is now dead. You can go through the entire levels in the game without actually killing anyone or even seeing anyone. you got to be completely stealthy and invisible. Uh, that's always a fun idea to play through. I like that sort of thing. Uh, so you can try that. You can play this game however you want. If you want to be all aggressive and just mash everyone's faces in, then be aggressive and mash everyone's faces in. If you don't want to do that, uh, then do something else. Right, let's now click. I'm going to turn this alarm on. Uh, I think that's a cunning plan. I don't think it's the best plan I've ever had, but it's a cunning enough plan. I'm going to do... Turn the lights off, put the alarm on, seriously spook everybody out in this place. He can't leave because I've turned these off, is what I did there. So he's now trapped in here with me. Ah, grab, punch, 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 punch. My now I can control green things. Uh, that guy is pacing, but he's in a dark room, so he's not a huge problem. Now, this guy is quite a big problem. Uh, I need to wire that up to there to be able to get rid of him. Let's go down uh, just so we can open this door because I do want to get rid of that guy as well. Open that, get rid of that guy. Oh, you can hit people with doors as well. Should try to hit that uh, guy with that door. Uh, this guy now can't see. I'm going to just jump up off his head. Jump down here. Mash, 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 mash. Mash him in the face. <laughs> uh, I do love how satisfying that mashing is. You really, you just don't know how just satisfying it is to grab something. Just go punch, 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 punch. Uh, I kind of want to take care of this guy. Um, hmm, but he's facing in the wrong direction at the moment. If I smash this window, he won't be facing in the wrong direction. Seems like a cunning plan to me. Oh, woo -woo. oh he's still facing it. No, he's, there you go. He's facing the right direction. Well, for me anyway. Grab. Punch, 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 punch. Cool. Oh, gentle. Ow. My kneecaps. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, let's go down here. Let's make this. Activate this. Oh, I need that. Oh, I'll just wait to activate it so I don't have to bother to get out. I always try and unwire these so the guys can't go anywhere. Right, so that's opened up that. One into this will open up this. This switch can open up this door for us. 
So we are now completely free. Uh, these guards are more padded. You can't actually kill them. Oh, we shouldn't have stopped. Uh, you can't actually punch them or anything. You have to sort of just ignore them, live with them. Uh, we now need to go... Oh, we need to activate this alarm to make this guy appear over here. Then tackle him, punch, 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 punch. Wirejack that. And then wait three, two... Oh, the guy is stuck because he had the alarm. Fantastic. I can now go down here. Uh, I haven't bothered to open this up. That is a massive mistake on my behalf. Let's go and grab that. Boop, open that door. Then we can go get this. Uh, da -da 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 -da. These guys are facing both this direction. Right, sick of these two guys being in my way. Death to you. Sorry. <laughs> so mean, just controlling someone's gun. It's great, though, because you can wire their gun up to other stuff. So if you say wire their gun up to this light here, you can just wander up here, and when this guy tries to shoot you... Nothing happens apart from that light turns off. Hi. Bitch, punch, 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 punch. So now I can just jump out the window on the right, and I have finished this level of gunpoint. You may be thinking at this point, but Dan, two things. One, there's a lot of time left on this video, and two, you've shown us one of the levels of this game. You've ruined this level for us when we play this game. Not so. This level isn't in this game. I made this. Gunpoint comes with a level editor, and now I'm going to hand you over to me in the past, who is going to show you how he built this level. Uh, take it away, me in the past. Okay, so welcome to the level editor. Uh, this is where we're going to build the level that you just saw me play. Uh, the level editor is nice and simple. We just build the levels and stuff, everything just fits together nicely, so you have all your walls and floors, doors, walls, windows, <laughs> walls again, fantastic, stairs, elevators, zones, electronic circuits, guards, objectives, back doors, back walls, decors, and equipment. We're going to go for the back walls. Uh, so with the back walls, you can plonk down individual little pieces like that, or you can plonk down big ones that sort of fit nicely uh, with all the other shapes. So we're going to drive for big ones now. Uh, I'm kind of thinking of having two buildings next to each other. I think that'll be pretty cool. Actually, why don't we just have two links next to each other with a bit down here at the middle so they can cross over. Or, 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 how about we have the crossover slightly up higher? We'll put that somewhere later. Yeah, so basically we're going to stick these together. Uh, there's also, we need floors. How big are the floors in this thing? Where are the floors? I'm assuming walls and floors. Uh, normal floor, wide floor. Normal floor, there we go. So if we stick down, you, have, you can have little small bits of floor as well if that's what you wish. Uh, so if you have the floor and then one of these, that's a gap of what? Is that one, two, three, four? So that'll be a gap of four. So if we stick down lots of back walls uh, with a gap of four, and then we can stick the other one up there somewhere. One, two, three, four. So if we have, say, this one up here, one, two, three, four. So we'll have that one sitting there, so that'd be the crossover bit. This building can be that high, and this one could be one higher or something. Uh, that works for me. So let's just keep throwing these back walls down until we have a level. Or the start of one, anyway. Okay, there we go. I've budged this down one, just simply to um, make it look a bit better, because it didn't look great up there. I've given this a glass ceiling, so there's ways of getting out of here. I'm going to barricade this one in entirely with uh, walls, so you won't be able to get into this one apart from through this bit of corridor here, so we can have some interesting stuff going on here. Uh, in fact, actually, I'm lying. I will have one bit of glass for dramatic escape up here, because you can't actually get high enough to smash up there. So that will be that will be what I built. All right, facing window there. So yeah, you can get up to this one, but you'll be able to leap out uh, dramatically, but you won't be able to leap into it. So that one you can't get into. And out here you can smash around a bit because it's fun. Uh, yeah, now let's keep building. Okay, so we've got two glass bits here, so we can have guards overlooking this glass bit. So you have to take these guards out before you cross over the glass bit. Uh, if I, I'm going to have this open, so we can have doors, maybe a little gardeny bit here, just to make it look pretty. Uh, and a glassy smashy in bit here if you want to smash it in. Uh, a little bit of glass up here because I kind of fancied it more than anything, really. All right, let's stick down some door frames. We're going to want a door frame there on both sides of this. We're going to want one here at the entrance and here. We're going to probably want a few sort of round the place as well, but we'll design those as we go. Okay, I've thrown a few plants out in this little bit and a bit there. We might actually put some... Uh, I might end up doing, what the, what's with the word for it, circuits. Yeah, I might actually do certain circuits. You have to actually do certain things in here. Well, that take a fairly large amount of planning, but I'll give it a go anyway. Uh, right, we need to wire up these doors. Uh, where's the door thing? We're going to have to have these little switches here. So I've decided that this is how you're going to enter, is you have to enter through this bit of glass here, um, because you won't have a switch for this door yet. But these ones we'll have to do something else with. Okay, let's throw in the objective. The primary objective of hack that thing will be down here. So the place we need to go is down here. 
Uh, the other things you can turn in, turn in secondary objectives, the exit, which you place over here, and the dude you start with. So you can actually start him anywhere on the map. I'm going to start him down there because I'm unimaginative, really. Okay, now we've actually got everything in place. We'll throw the zones down. So you have a choice of two. Uh, this is just sizes. So they're wide ones. This is an indoors area where it's light, and this is an indoors area where it's dark. So if a uh, guard's in this area, he'll head for the light switch if you, um, if you turn the lights off when he's in there. So if we just plonk those where we've got them, we should be groovy. Right, zones placed, you can't see them. Can you actually see them if you move? Oh, okay, so you can tell where they are uh, if you move things out of the way and then you can move them around yourself. So you can, you, you don't place them down and then that's it, you're not allowed to touch them again. Right, added a tiny bit more decor because I'm like that or decor or whatever. Let's throw some guards on. Uh, if we have a guard facing, standing here facing this way and a guard standing here facing this way, that means that when this dude runs over here, he gonna get squished. Or if you drop down here or try and cheat and go around this way, these guys gonna kill you. All right, I've thrown down the lights so you can turn all the lights off as you go. Let's throw down some light switches. I'm gonna have this one right near the guard, so he's really annoying to turn the lights off on. Okay, let's think about how we wanna get through this door here. I want this door to be on a different circuit, so you can't just run straight for it or wire jack it with a general red circuit. So if we put this on a green, all this stuff is gonna be in the green. I think this is how you do this. It just says, place over the device to put it on the circuit. So all that can be on the green circuit. Uh, we will have the green thingy here, and we will have, let's put a door in front of it like that. Have a nice locked door there, uh, with the way a guard can get in and out of it. And we will have a guard in there. So you have to be very careful. In fact, if we have the elevators here, um, yeah, no, that's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna have the elevators here. Where's the elevators? There's elevators. Uh, what's that? That's the elevator doors. You also need to place an elevator. So we need to have elevator doors like this. So if we have the elevator doors running all the way down this side. In fact, no, they can be sort of running down. No, they have to go down the ground floor. Oh, I've placed the elevator. Well, the elevator's gonna be on that floor. Boop. Uh, and down there like that. So yeah, so you can go up here, but as soon as you get up here, the noise this thing makes when it bings will make him turn around. So you've got to work out a way to get past him like that. Clever. Okay, slightly tweaking up uh, how this works. This is going to have uh, a security camera here that's set up to an alarm on the yellow stuff. So this alarm and the security camera will be on the yellow area. So if you walk through there, it's going to set up an alarm, which is going to activate. I might actually have some guards sort of sitting in the middle here or something. Uh, the way we're going to have to get around this problem is... Oh, actually, hang on. If I set this door up as well, because I want like an automatic closing door. So if you, you have to rewire this. Oh, that's how you do it. I've worked it out myself. Oh. Right, I've added this little room here. This is the security room. Uh, so there's two dudes in here. If you walk through this, this alarm will go off and these guys will then leave this room. Uh, and it's on a blue circuit. I'm going to have everything on the blue circuit. It's stuff I don't want people to be able to tamper with. So this is all stuff that you won't be able to change. Uh, I've never put down this thing, because I'm mean. Okay, i put down the yellow circuit thing here, because it's a little bit hidden, so you have to look for it. Uh, I'm going to make this entire thing here on the purple circuit. So this whole th building is going to be on the purple circuit. Uh, so you'll have to find the purple circuit in here before you can pretty much do anything which means you probably have to fight your way in. Okay, we need to make this, getting this a little bit more difficult. So I'm gonna put two guards down and have them patrolling this bottom floor. So you're gonna have to dodge some patrolling guards uh, on this bottom floor here. The, to make a guard patrol, you simply throw a thing like that on him uh, and then he will start patrolling around the place when the level starts. Okay, I've decorated a bit and stuck down some office chair things to make it look an office, and this bit's a bit servery, and this is a bit more like an entrance. Uh, I've set an alarm here, so when you come through here, you've got to deal with this alarm in some way. I will probably put that on uh, the green circuit, so you have a way of having to deal with the green circuit. How are you going to get rid of this guy? Uh, oh, I have an idea. If we stick down a little plug socket next to him, you can zap him. And that's how you can get rid of him. Uh, if we put the zapping on the yellow circuit, that means you probably have to do the yellow circuit stuff first uh, before you can do any other circuit. We'll need a yellow circuit switch somewhere as well. Uh, that can be the reason you need to go down to this floor. Yes, this will be your yellow circuit switch, which you won't be able to use until you've done that stuff. Fantastic! Okay, I'm gonna throw down some batteries here so you can grab however many you need. This should be enough to do the whole level with, because some people might be going into this level with uh, not enough batteries. So there you go, there's some batteries. Uh, this lets you use the crosslink in level. Uh, this lets you use the wire jack, which lets you hack into the different circuits. Uh, this lets you use the gun. I don't want people using the gun, so I'm not going to put that one down. I wonder if we should have another guard, but on the roof. So you have to do a bit of climbing to go nab him like that one there. 
That might be a fun. Yeah, let's have a guard waiting up here as well, just to give it just that extra bit of. Oh, let's see. Right, as far as I can see, now I've put down a bit of decor. That's this half of the map done. Uh, so we have these guys on their own little independent circuit. We have how many reds? We have this switch here, which lets you control all the default circuits. So you can't you can't turn the lights off at this one and get down here. So then you have to fight these guys. Uh, once you've taken out these guys, you then get to go, because uh, you now you've got the yellow one, so you can activate this switch and turn off the lights up here, which will cause havoc up here, which is how you can take that guy out, or you can use the fuse box. Uh, that guy, you have to deactivate that switch, because otherwise he'll screw you over. At some point, you'll have to leave, climb up the top, and take this guy out, but that's only when those two are dead, because you'll probably knock him off. Uh, we'll probably should have a way... Oh no, because you can always just smash back through the glass. I was about to say, there's no way back in there, but we can smash back through the glass. So there's loads of ways to do absolutely everything in there. And then once you've deactivated that alarm with the yellow circuit, you'll have the green circuit. You can run through here, use a green circuit switch, uh, so say that one or that one, to open up this door. And then this stuff can be on the purple circuit. We'll have some puzzle stuff in there. But no, that's the left-hand side and the middle bit done. We just need to do this last bit. Okay, I'm going to have a timing puzzle here. So this guy's gonna run back and forth through this thing here. This thing's just gonna open up this door, but it's gonna close it again. So as soon as he walks past it, it's gonna open it, and then it'll turn around and it'll close it. For the time that he's here facing this direction, when it's open, he'll be able to shoot you. So there's a few seconds, you have to time it well going down on this floor, otherwise this guy can shoot you. Oh, even more cunning. I've added the, I'm gonna have the only switch that's on the level is gonna be here. So there's gonna be this switch here, uh, which turns that off, but you've got to try and time it, so you've got to try and climb and hide, and so you can flick this switch will be the only way to open up this door down here. So that's how you open up this door. I will have some, might be a guards patrolling this way, and this is sort of an optional room, so there will just be a lot of things to do, and by things I mean guards. Okay, so this top room here, you have to take out the guard on the left, then the guard on the right, or the guard on the right and the guard on the left, or just the guard on the right and jump out the window. Um, so yeah, you've got to take these guys out to, to be able to finish the level off, and then smash through here, win the level, the end. And for this final room, we need somewhere to have this wire jack thing, so you're going to have to, when you come in here, you'll hit this, which will activate this alarm, that'll drag that dude out, and then you've got to try and get out of the way very quickly, so you can drop down and murderize him. Okay, a few slight tweaks. I'm going to take this off of this circuit, uh, because I want a way to turn these lights off, because this is, this is a zone and this isn't a zone, that guard's just going to go and walk through this zone. Um, if he smashes through here, that's going to get the attention of absolutely everyone with a broken glass sound, so I'm going to make that an open door. Uh, and I'm going to have a pane glass window here that you can use if you fancy it. Okay, so half an hour later and this level is done. Uh, this should show off most of the mechanics. And I end the video here, which is weird because I'm about to go and record. But I kind of wanted to show off that there was a level editor in that sort of... Now let's go back and see how I built this, just to show how detailed this level editor is, because it is fantastic. This whole game is fantastic. The mechanics gel together so well, the flinging your guy around and smashing through windows and just grabbing people. Oh, it's just... It's just brilliant fun. There is seriously nothing quite like this. Uh, I seriously recommend it. It's it's stupidly cheap as I was just coming out on Steam today. It is fantastic cheap. There are more expensive versions, but they have no extra gameplay in them. It's just to support the developer. So you're gonna whatever version you play, you get everybody's getting the same game. I fucking love it when games do that. You're not missing out on anything by not pre-ordering or doing this sort of shit, which is I just fucking love. So yeah, this is just one of the best games I've played this year. Go and play Gunpoint. It is. It will just blow your mind. Because it, it's simple. It's such a simple thing. Just done so well. And it came with a level editor. I, I can love level editors. Uh, so, yeah. That's pretty much everything I've got to say about this. That is Gunpoint. So worth your time. So worth your money. Go give this a go. Uh, and thanks for watching Procrastinators. I now have to go and record the bit you've already seen. Which is weird. I'll see you later. ta -ra. Cube. Videos dropping from above like bird poop. Enter the domain of the nerd cube. Videos dropping from above like